it's pitiful, it's distasteful, uh, it's disgusting. Um, just as much as some rap shit that I hear. You know what I mean? Because a lot of us look up to Will Smith as a hero. You know what I mean? When it comes to sitcoms and the business mm -hmm. that he's done. And I just think that certain things, if that is, you know, it's their business, but yeah. keep some of that shit to yourself. You know what I mean? I think it's for attention. And I was with it all the way up until I think I seen her say Suge gave her pox ashes. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Ticking up here because mm. academics and Saucy Santana been into it. M man. And, and he cried because of Saucy, you know, applying the pressure on him. You know, for his, uh, he, he's gay, Saucy is gay, and then Saucy is basically now kind of tormenting him, saying he'll rape him and all kind of stuff. No. Oh, wait a minute. Now, now my boy, my boy crying because Yuck. he feel like, okay, he being bullied by so he probably saying, is. He probably is. And he, he can't say nothing you. back because he say the LGBTQ. Yeah, he can. Man, if he out. say something. Man, don't nobody care about that shit. Man, you a man. This man talking, man, go whoop that man ass. And you don't think they'll look at it man, no way. What they gonna do, man? That's your audience? Do you think he could whoop him? Probably not. <laughs> That's the embarrassment. That's you don't want to go out there and get whooped by a nigga with fingernails on. <laughs> Makeup, man. That's a big nigga. That's a big, a big nigga. nigga. And so that's why you, do you think that's why he crying? No disrespect. You are no, do you like being called a nigga? It was I don't want to be messing up no pronouns. I'm just saying. I'm all messed up with pronouns and shit. Like I don't do that, none of that shit. I don't know him like that, but I do know nigga crying, man. I was tripping off that. I'm like, damn, man, he getting emotional about that, bro. Well, he probably just scared, man. When you scared, like, cause again, I people say stuff about people all the time. What is he so you know, because he say stuff about women. He talk about a lot of people. I would tie a saucy ass up if I was him. As much as he talked about women, he better. He better say something back. He better say something back. Ain't nothing like getting closed down. If you getting closed down by us, it ain't the LGBT shutting you down. That's saucy Santana that's shutting saucy you down. Santana shutting you down. Saucy. <laughs> Whoa, we saucy. Saucy Santana, man. He done, he done made his boy. I guess he's seen academics coming like, I'm for the hell of this nigga, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, one thing, one thing, you know, you know, hey, hey leave, leave them LGBT, leave, leave it alone, man. You don't, want, you don't want nobody to be talking about you. If you want to be talked about and, and get into it with somebody, but that's and why then you got to remember, you got to remember too, right? Just because a person's gay doesn't mean, like all my uncles and my brothers and my cousins and the niggas that killed, they not gay. <laughs> they're not gay at all, and they love me. So they ain't trying. So they're to hear not it. coming. They don't. They will come to a gay party and clean it out. They're not for the play <laughs> about. They don't boy. care about nothing. No, not today and not tomorrow. All. And I'm grateful for that. No, that's fair. I don't brag up, man. I think it's about how you treat people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Everything that I've said in interviews is my story. If that's you all mad right. about how I talk and how I say it, flip the channel. That's real. That's what Kanye said. Fast forward. Fast forward. <laughs> I like Kanye. I do too. I like that. Nigga. I like that nigga a lot. And with social media, the way how it is right now, where everything is so in your face, because people are so addicted. As much as people, it's so funny. People will be watching these interviews and they don't like something that you say, and they're in the comments saying all this other stuff and whatever, but they refuse to get off of the channel and find something else. Oh yeah, well, they, oh, well I love it. You know, it's it'd be more a lot of gay bashing with me where you know a bunch of straight guys do do well. They say they straight. Well, they do mm -hmm. a lot of bashing. Like who have you know the only you shouldn't be worried about business that another man is doing. The only mm -hmm. person I know, well, it's only only one person that's not gay that only have a right to do that. That's whack one hundred. I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where did that come from? What did you just say? Oh my say? bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? We whack one on it. Now we're saying the only person that can talk about like people lifestyle and it, like only this privy to do that. Nobody should be privy to do that. But black one hundred, he is. Why is he? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, why is he? I don't know. He's the only one that could talk about gay people and who's gay in the industry and who's not. Really? I, yeah, I think he's a gay police. But <laughs> this dude is crazy. I love it. So I got to ask you about that. Come for to get you out of uh, Jada and Jada wrote a book. Jada. You wrote, yeah, you Jada. wrote a book. Jada. You wrote a book and, you know, you put some things in there that was saucy. 
Why y'all ain't come get my book like y'all gonna get her book? Though? Because she is really she's a, a promo queen, though. Yeah, she she knows why you said pro- she's a liar? Well, go ahead. I'm gonna finish. Go ahead. She's a promo queen. Like she basically, I think it. In my opinion, I'm thinking it's all for the book. All of this stuff. I hadn't been with Will. Uh, I got alopecia and Tupac got it. You know, I want to hear like. Is that do that help you? <laughs> Shit, I got alopecia too. My album's out. My heart. <laughs> But all platforms, I got it too. <laughs> Shit, it's gonna work. I got it too. Uh, so, so tell me, what did you think? Like, like when you when you seen her start talking about Pac wasn't her soulmate and she wasn't just, attracted to I him. Hope, what was that? I hope because I do a lot of interviews mm-hmm. and I'm just now getting the opportunity to be known for the music again. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Um, I just hope that I don't look how she looks. Yeah. Um. It's pitiful. It's distasteful. Uh, it's disgusting. Um, just as much as some rap shit that I hear. You know what I mean? Because a lot of us look up to Will Smith as a hero. You know what I mean? When it comes to sitcoms and the business mm-hmm. that he's done. And I just think that certain things, if that is, you know, it's their business. But yeah, keep some of that shit to yourself. You know what I mean? I think it's for attention. And I was with it all the way up until I think I seen her say Suge gave her pox ashes or something like that. Is you know what? And you close to that situation. So what? What? We, I just yeah. don't know. I want. Why know. would she say that? And you I'd know, love to come to you, the red table just to see the time frame. Because I know the pox ashes was separated and he shared knows about and them. stuff like uh, that. So the said, last time I seen the, I was probably the outside of the person that delivered them. The second or third person to see his ashes. And I just don't know how they went from Suge to his mother. Uh, I, I think to one of the securities, maybe, to Jada. Hmm. That's <laughs> heavy. That. That's heavy, because I don't... Suge probably gave her some Cuba. And uh, said that that's cigars, what it was. Cigar ashes. <laughs> And gave it to her ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. What kind? Okay, so what kind of relationship did she have with Tupac? That I don't know. Did she go get him out of jail? No. no. Why? She didn't have a million dollars. No. You don't think she had a yeah, million, she had dollars, a million dollars to spend for for him? I'm just saying she had it. She, she didn't have all these resources. I don't know. But you were around them, so you saw their relationship. I'm well, trying to see. I was see never walking. around them. You were never I'd around. I never seen Jada. I never together. seen them during this death row. Never time. seen. Never seen you never seen them together. Never. Okay. That, I think everything she's talking about is Baltimore and before, and that, and that was and that and wasn't why a long didn't she time. go get him? It was just as long as me. Just yeah. Like, I mean, she had the right to say because she knew him, but you know, all of this love. Where was everybody at when Pac was locked up? They weren't sitting across the street people, like you. A lot of people. A lot of people turned their backs on him. You know, sort of like the R. Kelly thing. Like, when that light got shined on him that he raped somebody, a lot of people left Pac alone. So I think those are the parts she should share in the story. Let's talk about that part. Those are parts that they should say, wow. this is where I was during that time. Mm-hmm. Don't try to fit yourself in during, you know, the good time. So do you feel like <sighs> her and Will is going to be just totally, because I know they're separated according to the whole, you know, do you think this divorce is over with? Are. Will is. Will, whatever they got going on, she's good. She's good because she can say anything and, and, and Will come out and he say that he love her. And, you know, that's I guess that's one thing, man. That's what love is about, too. You know what I mean? Like he said, no matter what, he support her. And, you know, good luck to him. Wouldn't be mine. Mm. She wouldn't do that shit. She wouldn't do that shit with me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.